In this video, we're going to be talking about a common question that we get quite a bit with our different album design products, and that is how do our album design products interact with templates we've created ourselves or we purchased from other third-party developers. Of course, our products come with a nice bounty of templates to begin with, but obviously you're going to want to be able to utilize our tools with other template manufacturers, uh, as well as maybe layouts that you've already created yourself previously, doing it the old way, strictly with Photoshop. So that's what we're going to talk about here. And we're going to show you how you do that with our flagship product, which is Pixel Creator Pro, and also our scaled down version, which is our our easy album and then the easy album toolbox that comes with the various template collections we offer so let's start here with pixel creator pro because each one is just a bit different so with pixel creator pro being the flagship product it's going to offer you the most flexibility so for example I'm here in Photoshop and I'm just going to use the Photoshop rectangle tool to draw out a rectangle and then I'm going to use the uh, elliptical shape tool and then I'm just going to throw one more in there just for fun and that would be uh, our custom shape tool and I'm actually going to load one of the sets of custom shapes uh, that we have with our photo perk uh, de design collection just to show you how this works so we'll go ahead and select one here so essentially we have three shape layers and if we look over here in the layers palette you'll see that they're just three shape layers so what we would do if we we're going to use pixel creator pro to insert an image we simply select our image layer we're going to come into bridge we're going to select a image folder select an image and then in pixel creator pro we don't have to do anything special simply click on the insert photo tool it will detect whether or not that's an image opening or not, make the necessary adjustments, and drop our image right in. So it's going to resize our image to fit that image opening. So you can see there's absolutely no work really that we have to do. And if you notice over here in our layers palette, that shape layer has now can be converted to an image box layer, and it's been numbered image 01. So that's how you're going to do it with Pixel Creator Pro. Now, what if we were using Pixel Creator Pro with, say, a graphic authority template? Well, let's go back into Bridge and let's open up a sample graphic authority template so you can see how graphic authority uh, structures their templates because they are unique. Graphic Authority uses something a little bit special, and if you look at all of their templates from way back when to the most current ones, this particular template layout is ancient, but it all works the same way. With a Graphic Authority template, they use what they call a clipping mask. So I simply click on one of the image layers, it jumps right to this image, and you can see it here, and it is in fact clipped to the image below and you can tell that by this little tiny arrow that you see. So Pixel Creator Pro is just intelligent enough. We've programmed it, we've designed it with this thought in mind that if the current selected layer has a clipping mask attached to it, merge the two layers together and then insert your image. So all I do is select my image layer, go into bridge just like I did previously, select my image, when I hit insert photo, Pixel Creator Pro does the calculations, will merge the clipped layer first, and then it will go ahead and resize our image to fit that merged result. Okay, and it just lays it right in perfectly. Now, for those of you who aren't really Photoshop savvy, you may not really understand what that clipping mask does. I'm really not sure why Graphic Authority chose to lay out their templates in this fashion but it is what it is if you look at what a clipping mask is essentially if I unclip it you can see how large this image opening where it says your image here if I clip it then the opening becomes the size of this black square that we actually can't see so if I turn off the image layer you can see that we have just the black square right and that is what is the size of our image. So in Pixel Creator, rather than using a clipping mask, we use a layer mask, which I think is the more appropriate way. But whatever the case is, that's how a graphic authority template is structured. And in Pixel Creator Pro, no worries, because it looks to see if the layer is clipped first. And if it is, it merges them, 
inserts our image. Pretty straightforward. Now, let's look at one more third-party template developer, and that would be our photo duds. So let's go in here, and let's just open up a photo dud layout, because it's basically the same process, but every template manufacturer is just a little bit different. Now, in photo duds, notice that there is no clipping mask. There is no layer mask either. And again, Pixel Creator Pro is smart enough where we just simply select our image layer. We come in here, we grab that same image. When we hit insert photo, it makes the necessary adjustments. Because there's no layer mask, it creates one and then drops in our image. And that's all there is to it. Very, very straightforward. So if you want information on graphic authority, it's graphicauthority.com. If you're interested in the photo dud layouts, it's photoduds.com. And that's really one of the beauties and one of the things that sets Pixel Creator Pro apart from the competition is that literally any template manufacturer, any template that you've created yourself, whatever the case might be, um, lots of templates available on eBay and all kinds of things, uh, all of those templates you'll be able to utilize with any of our album design products. So that's what Pixel Creator Pro is all about. So how does Easy Album and the Easy Album Toolbox differ? Well, where they differ is, is slightly more work on your part, and we have to make it more complicated for you, uh, because if we didn't, then there would be no reason for you to own Pixel Creator Pro, now would there? So with Easy Album, it's still easy, but it is slightly different. So in Easy Album and the Easy Album Toolbox, we have this Easy Place feature. And what Easy Place will do is it will look at our currently selected document and seek out all of our image layers. And currently, the way this layout is currently developed, we only have one image layer. So what we would do in Easy Album and the Easy Album Toolbox is we would select our image layers. We would come into Easy Album, and right down here at the bottom, right next to Prep for Print, is the Convert Template tool. We click on the Convert Template tool, we hit Process, and that's all we have to do. And you can see that now these layers have been converted to image layers, so that when we come in here and we use our Easy Place feature, we'll go ahead and skip that first image opening. This image opening is turned red. It asks us if we want to use Bridge to select an image. So I will come in here and I'll select two images and I'll say yes let's go ahead and use bridge and it'll take that image drop it right into our image opening go ahead and hit enter and then move on to our next image opening and there you have it really really simple now what do we do in a situation with that graphic authority template let's see how that differs slightly in the easy album in the easy album toolbox let's go back in and open up that graphic authority template Now, because Graphic Authority uses a clipping mask, what we have to do is simply merge these two layers first and then convert them. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and on, on a PC, we select our image layer and hit Control E. And on a Mac, it's Command E. We'll just do that for every single one. So I select my image layer, Command E or Control E. Click on my next image opening, Control E. My next one, Control E. They're all merged at this point, but we still need to convert them. So all I do is select all of the image openings in the layout, and you can see I have them all selected. I'll come into the Easy Album, click on the Convert Template tool, hit Process, converts all those layers. We'll see it happen over there in the Layers palette. Boom, just that quick. They are now all image layers. And so now when we come in here to use the Easy Place feature, you can see one of the image opening has been turned red, so we'll skip that one. We'll skip that one. And we'll go ahead and drop an image in here just so you can see it. Say yes to insert. And it'll go ahead and take that image I selected in Bridge, drop it right into my layout. And we'll go ahead and we'll skip that last image opening. So you can see how easy it is to utilize the Easy Place feature and that Convert Template feature in Easy Album to convert a template. 
But if you're using a template that uses layer mask or clipping mask rather, you have to merge those layers together first before converting the template. Now if we look at the Easy Album Toolbox, you can see it doesn't have all the features of Easy Album, but it does have that convert template feature just like the Easy Album software does. The Easy Album Toolbox is only available, however, with the purchase of one of our uh, template collections, that be the Picto Design Volume 1, Volume 2, or one of our new Easy Album template collections. So hopefully that will answer that question for you. Uh, again, that works with any layout from any developer, any layout that you've created yourself, really super simple to convert that template for use in Pixel Creator Pro or Easy Album. Thanks for watching.